And welcome in, everybody. Glad you're with us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Baltimore Orioles and the San Diego Padres. First pitch coming your way next. Just about set to go. Today's starting pitcher, you Darvish. And Singy, he's a 20-game winner. Yeah, definitely a career year for him. Last time out, really dominant to pick up that 20th win of the season. He's looking for 21 here in this one. We'll see if he's still got that great stuff to get it. Next offering, pop foul off to the right out of play. The 0-2. Got him. And now one away. Well, I'm not really sure why he let that one go by. I mean, out of the hand, it had a lot of the strike zone. Sure, it had some good arm side run at the end to move to the outside part of the plate. But with two strikes, you got to be ready to swing it there, and you can't leave it in the umpire's hands. Bogarts on the move. He's got it, and there's two away. Here's Adley Rutschman. That's out to center field. And puts the squeeze on that one. And that ends the... And here is Xander Bogarts. And he deals. There's a swing and a drive. That one is back. Gone! Xander Bogarts hits one out. His 39th home run of the season. And just like that, they're out front. It's 1-0. He ambushed him right there, Siggy. Yeah, swinging on that first pitch, and I think losing one over the fence is exactly what he had in mind as well. That one was a hanger, and pitchers typically don't get away with making a mistake like that. And right there, he made him pay. Next for the Padres, Jake Cronenworth. Two for nine so far in the series. And that one almost got him. Jake Cronenworth, the Michigan kid, he played at the University of Michigan. Rays took him... In the 15 draft in the seventh round, we're playing a, a lot of hockey. Eventually made his big league debut with the Padres. Chris, he's been an all-star twice. Out to short, Mateo. Fires over to first. That takes care of Cronenworth. Here's Manny Machado. Two for eight in the series so far. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Yeah, and when he came up to the big leagues, just seeing how quickly he was comfortable, looked like a veteran player, and just solid skills all the way around. To me, he was kind of that sneaky favorite player that I had. The 1-1. One, one. This one in the air right field. Santander drifts towards it. Drops into the glove. Two down versatile player defensively can play all over the place in college he was a two-way guy they not only used him as a middle infielder but he closed games and the Rays actually used him that way at triple-a in terms of letting him throw some meaningful innings as a reliever the pitch stops it on a slide throw to the pitcher and that's a nice play to end the inning the Padres get one in the inning with a solo blast. It's now 1-0. It's Major League Baseball, and it's on the show. Top of the second, Anthony Santander at the plate. And there's the strike. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Soto gets under it. One away. Here's Ryan Mountcastle. That hey. one's in there, 0 and 1. Singing Ryan Mountcastle, a former first round pick by the Orioles in 25th. Ripped into right center, and that should be extra bases. Now he turns and heads for second. The throw in, and the tying runs at second base with a double. All over that one right there. Fastball pretty much middle-middle, and that's what you fall asleep dreaming about as a hitter. So no surprise, he put a great swing on it. That's a hit. Mountcastle around third. He's safe. 
Two consecutive base hits for these guys here. Anytime you rip a line drive the other way, you feel really good about what you did at the plate. You trusted your hands, you let the ball travel, and you took the barrel straight to it. That's great work right there. And now they've got some speed on first, so we'll see if they try to get him into motion. And now it's Austin Hayes. Hit hard, base hit. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Well, a swing like that can help you come out of the struggle. We saw the numbers coming into the ball game, but all he's trying to do at this point is help his team win. Jorge Mateo now. Line drive, base hit. Runner around third on his way to the plate. Not in time. He's safe. They take the lead. It's 2-1. Well, clearly he was ready to hit right there. Showed a willingness to drive that pitch the opposite way. Didn't get jumpy. Didn't try to pull the ball. He let it get deep. Took the barrel right to it and then extended through the swing for the line drive base hit. At the play, Joseph Ortiz in the air left field. Makes the catch. Runner tags from third. That's a sacrifice fly as he comes across, and they take a two-run lead. Well, that's a quality at bat right there. You know the situation. You need something in the air and deep enough, and that's exactly what he did. Good pass. Pass to the baseball. Darvish, who's played for the Rangers, Dodgers, Cubs, and Padres, but he's been an all-star in both leagues, Ziggy. An all-star and a fan favorite is really... And down on strikes he goes. Good job at damage control. Runs for him here, and they move ahead. Bottom half of inning number two, and now Jordan Walker. Swings and misses. 1-1. Oh, well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any oh, hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. Hard hit, right side. Whips it to Mountcastle. Leadoff man retired here in the second. Now it's Matt Carpenter, one of the stars in the win yesterday, as he had three hits. Foul ball. One down, base is empty. Fouled off left side. The 0 2. Ball one there. I don't like to say he wasted a pitch. I think that was a purpose pitch. Change the eye level, have him look up. Now go back exactly where you want to go. And now the count is even. Left-hand hitter waits. And now it's three and two. In the air, left field. And that should be extra bases. Around first, heading for two. And he's in with a stand-up double. He's been swinging it really well lately. Great approach on a nice pitch. Dropped the barrel on it. Stayed on plane completely through the swing and drove it the other way. Kind of have to tip your cap if you're on the mound on that one. Trent Grisham at the plate and takes high there. Clearly didn't come out of his hand the right way. Left that curveball way up. Next pitch inside, and it's 2-0. and oh. Hit hard, should be extra bases. Carpenter coming home. He'll score easily, and they trail by one. That's two consecutive extra base hits for these guys. When you connect and it jumps off your bat like that, you're thinking double at the very least. Put a great swing on it, and man, he wasn't fooled at all. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. And it's fouled away. The 0 1. And a pop up, right side, foul territory. Mountcastle makes the catch. And oh, runner tags for third. Well, that was a pitch you got to crush. Unbelievable that he missed it right there. And I'm telling you, he is going to be frustrated with himself until his next at bat. 
Runner breaks for third. Pitch is low. Throw save. That's a stolen base. Well, sometimes stealing third base can be tough, especially if that shortstop or second baseman are making some noises, moving towards the back, try to make you think that you've got to stay close. Well, they didn't do a very good job of that. Get a comfortable lead. He's got it, and that'll end the inning. Padres with the run scoring double. And the home team down a run. Back after this on the show. Welcome back. Top half of the third inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Adam Frazier. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Chris, you Darvish debuted with the Rangers back in 2012. It's been a pretty successful big league career. He's been an all-star multiple times and a guy with all those pitches. He gives Pitchcom a run for its money, I think you'd say. The punch out there and one gone. And here's the catcher, Adley Rutschman. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Yeah, I remember when he came into the league and talking about seven, eight pitches that this guy had. And wow, you're just scratching your head. If you're a hitter, what do you look for? He steps on the bag. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. The batter, the right fielder, Anthony. So up next, Santander. Anthony Santander. That's in for a strike. All ones count. Next offering is in for a strike. Well, he looks fresh out there. Just needs to get a little more confidence and remember how good he's been in the past. And the 2 Got him looking. And good work there as he gets a 1-2. Set for the bottom of the third. And the batter now, Xander Bogarts. Here's a high fly ball out to center. Frazier on his way over. He can't get there. It's a base hit. Hitting is really easy for some guys. One thing that I can see already, his bat stays in the zone on plane for an extended period of time. And guys like that, they have a high contact rate and they have more barrels because of that bat being on plane. And even when you don't get it, takes it to the bag, that's one. On a Mount Castle, it's a double play. Very composed play from the shortstop position right there. And that was a perfect decision. Go ahead, take it yourself, get to second, and then fire to first. Make sure you get those two outs. Machado at the plate now as he chases after that one. That clips the corner. This guy's not wasting any pitches. Hitters got to get into swing mode. This is a good time to expand the zone. Throw something maybe down in the dirt. Oh. Next one misses. Going to count one and two. This to third. Whips it to Mountcastle. That ends the inning. And here it comes. Strike one. All ones the count. And a swing and a miss. The line of the pitch. Swing and a miss, and he got him. And there's one away. Here's a speed threat. Gunnar Henderson. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Swing and a miss. Well, he just threw that fastball by him, elevated. And if you're not looking up in that location, very difficult to catch up to, especially with that velocity. One and two here. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Two gone now. Back-to-back -back strikeouts to start the frame, and that's now three in a row. Yeah, he's really settling in and getting a feel for his pitches, throwing them where he wants to right now. So we'll see how long he can keep this streak going. Ground ball, left side, and that's just foul. Field two. Swag and a miss. The velocity blasted it right back. Back here at Petco Park. Ready to go, bottom four. Here's the cleanup hitter for the Padres. Juan Soto. Ripped to third and caught. Well, baseball can be cruel, can it? I mean, sometimes it Gives and sometimes it takes away. He did everything right on that swing, but he's got nothing to show for it. 
Here's a rocket out to left. Ooh. Brings it in. And a couple of quick outs. Well, certainly doing his very best out there on the mound to bring that win streak to a halt. On the ground to first. And foul ball. A one down. Swing and a foul straight back. Towards first, and he picks it up in foul territory. That misses, and the count is one and two. And now two and two. Two two now. Full count. The idea was right, looking to locate that fastball up and in. He just missed his spot a little bit. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. Inning over. Staying in the game on defense, Nelson Cruz. He'll be the new right fielder after entering as a pinch hitter. Mateo leading things off and takes a strike. And he bunts, but that's a foul ball. No, there's a pitch we haven't seen in a while. It's going to be tough on the hitters if he can mix that in whenever he wants. Here's the 0-2. Spoils the two-strike pitch, and he'll see another. Swing and a miss. And he's down on strikes. Looks like he's picked up right where he left off. Well, right now, he's in cruise control, autopilot, just dominating these hitters. He doesn't look like it's a fun at bat. And all of a sudden, you become in awe of this guy in the mound. Somebody's got to break this thing up. That's five straight strikeouts. Got to put a ball in play. Swing and a miss. Struck him out. Some high cheese for strike three. Just blown away in that at bat. Three fastballs, all strikes. He wasn't even able to foul one off. There's not much you can take away from an at-bat like that as a hitter other than maybe there's something wrong with your eyes. Got to have better timing on the fastball next time. Swings and misses. Seven in a row by And welcome back. And now the center fielder, Trent Grisham. And a pitch. Popped in the air. Left field. Hayes has it sized up. He's got it. And there's one down. Ha Sung Kim, the next up for the Padres. Swing and a miss. That one in the dirt. These hitters are going to have to find a way to be a little more patient, see more pitches per at bat. Otherwise, that bullpen's not going to have to work over there, and it's going to be advantage pitching all game long. Puts it away for the out. This one in the air center field. Makes a nice running catch. And back here in San Diego, all set for the start of the inning. And into the box for Baltimore, Adam Frazier. Foul ball there. Frazier, a former All-Star, 31 years old, and he's been on a good run at the plate, hitting over 300 in his last 10 games. The catch has been pretty far off. Adley. Rutschman. And now the switch hitting catcher, Adley Rutschman. He was late there, strike right. one. Frazier gets his lead at first, right. nobody out. That's in there, 0-2. High fly ball out to center field. Grisham racing, makes the catch. Now and next will be the cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. And that's in there for strike one. Santander measures six feet, two inches, 235 pounds, and he was a second-round pick back in 2016. That one hit to right. Cruz drifts towards it. He's got it, and there's two away. Ryan Mountcastle, the next to hit for the Orioles. In there, and it's 0-1. It really looks like these hitters have been in between with their timing today. Good fastball, excellent slider, but they've not been able to commit to one velocity. Well, got to pause on that thought, as that'll do Bottom of the sixth inning. Now it's the shortstop, Xander Bogarts. 
And that one is lifted in the air, and it falls. So a runner aboard to start the inning. Oh, this has been a really nice game at the plate for him. He looks locked in. With the way defenders track down balls these days, I mean, both from the infield and in the outfield, there really aren't a lot of base hits on balls hit like that. But there's always a little room back behind the first and second baseman to drop a lawn dart in there, and he found a way. The pitch. On the ground right side, Frazier. One away, bottom of the sixth. Here's Manny Machado now. And the pitch is outside, ball one. The 1 0. Swing, and that ball smashed on a line. Diving, and he can't make the play. Here comes Bogarts around third. He'll score, and the Padres tie the game. It's 3 all. Just so sound in his mechanics. Hits against a firm front side, and the hands just continue to carry through the middle of the field. Now the youngster wants Soto. Intentional walk coming here, and that sets up the double play possibility with one away and runners at first and second. So a new arm out of the bullpen for the Orioles, Kyle Bradish. Going to be a tough matchup for him right here. Right-handed hitters have been having a lot of success against them so far this season. Cruz at the plate for the second time as he takes ball one. Movement in the Orioles' bullpen. Michael Gibbons is up and throwing for Brandon Hyde. Aiken getting loose as well. Base hit. Throw back in, holds the runner at third. Base is now loaded. Only one away. Now here is Matt Carpenter. One for two. In the air to left center. Hayes has it sized up. Makes the grab. Runner tags from third. A big run scores on the sack fly. It's 4-3. Well, he's always capable of losing one over the fence. He might have just missed it right there, but a good job to drive in that run from third. Now it's Trent Grisham to the plate. Not the easiest thing when you're talking about a guy that's, you know, perhaps is going to be in the rotation. So maybe a long relief guy to not start an inning, to come into an inning with pressure on it and, and try to get yourself comfortable. And a foul ball. Soto at second. Cruz on at first with two down. Ground ball right side. Frazier. They get the force, and that's the inning. But top of inning number seven and now the DH Gunnar Henderson that's in there it's 0-1 you know this guy's great speed is in the back of that pitcher's mind if he can get on it's going to give him one more thing he's got to think about the tying run at the plate lifted in the air out to left Soto going after it he gets there to make the play a nice running grab and a quick out number one so next to hit for Baltimore, Austin Hayes. Swing and a miss. Strike one. The wind of the pitch. This one popped up. Foul ground first base side. And puts the squeeze on that. And there are two outs. And next for the Orioles, Jorge Mateo. Dives and he can't hang on. Still able to get it there in time. And they come away with an out after. Welcome back, bottom of the seventh. Stepping in for San Diego, Hassan Kim. Swing and a line drive, base hit out of the center field. So a man on base to start the inning. 
So important to get into the fielding position as you deliver that baseball. That is a scary one. Watch your lips. And now it's Austin Nola. Ball one, no, strike. Ball one, no strikes. You know, these Padres doing a good job of simply getting the bat on the ball in this game, and the numbers back that up. The kick in the pitch. Runner goes. Mateo. No chance at the double play with the runner in motion. All those numbers mean this offense is really making the defense work by just putting the ball into play. Anything can happen at that point. Here's Bogarts driving one in the air. Deep left field. And it's caught just in front of the wall. Runner tags at second. And he's safe at third on a risky play as he moves up with two gone now. So digging in now for San Diego, Jake Cronenworth. That one clubbed out towards left center. That'll be extra bases. In comes the run from third. It's 5-3. Not stopping. He's going for three. And he's in safely at third. And a run comes in to score. Comes through with the RBI. I love the hustle out of the box, man. He drove that baseball. And he was thinking triple right away. Here's Machado. RBI knock for him last time. Now a chance to drive in another run. Out to short. Dives, but it kicks off his glove. He decides to eat it, and a run is in to score. Runner at first with two away. Stepping in, Juan Soto. In the air, out towards right center. Santander drifts towards it. He's got it. And that is out number three. Back here at the ballpark, now the third baseman, Joseph Ortiz. Right side, Cruz under it. Makes the grab, one down. So back to the top of the Orioles lineup and into the box for Baltimore, Cedric Aye. Mullins. That one's in there, 0-1. Well, they've kept him pretty quiet in this series. Still doesn't have a knock. I know you want to get that first knock out of the way. Maybe more will come. But you got to give some credit to the pitching staff. They've had a great plan against him. Next offering is fouled back. Got it by him for the K. And there's another strikeout, and those are just continuing to pile off. His confidence level has got to be dropping. He's got to find a way to make an adjustment, Boot, get back on track. His team needs him. That one's in there. No balls, two strikes. In the air, right field. That's down. One hops off the wall. And he's got a double. Back against the wall with two strikes, but found a way. He got that front foot down, and pitch recognition was on point. Pretty impressive for an 0-2 count. Rutschman in the box here lets that one go for a ball. Kim to first, and that is that. Back here at Petco Park. Uh, out of the bottom of the eighth, and now... Right fielder, Nelson Cruz. Bradish back to work. Now he breaks his bat. On to first. Oh. One up, one down. Well, as a hitter, it can be kind of tough. You get a hard-throwing reliever that comes in the ball game. You don't know exactly what his pitches are doing. And that clearly blew him up on the hand, saw off that bat. Tell you what, the bat companies, they're pretty happy when guys like this come in out of the bullpen. Line drive to short and caught. Here's the center fielder, Trent Grisham. Swings and pulls it foul to the right side. Righty to the plate. Late swing, foul to the left. Kicks and deals. Line drive, base hit.
Hassung Kim getting ready to hit. And first offering is fouled off. Grisham leads off first with two down to the inning. Liner, base hit. Lead runner around second. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Coming on for the Orioles, Michael Gibbons. And he's done a great job keeping the ball in the park this year. The numbers stack up with some of the best in the game. And first offering is fouled off. Looking for some insurance. Or as our friends down in the South would say, insurance. No matter how you say it, we know what you mean. And strike two. Cuts and misses. It's a strikeout. Padres leap. We go to the ninth. So now the Orioles cleanup hitter, Anthony Santander. And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Hot shot to third. And the leadoff man retired here in the ninth. Couple of pitches and a quick out. So next to hit for Baltimore, Ryan Mountcastle. Center field. Grisham puts it away for the out. And there's two down. Orioles down to their final out. Gunnar Henderson will hit next. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Right through there for a strike. Well, he didn't like those first two pitches. Now in an 0-2 hole, he's going to have to battle. Hope he gets a mistake. And they are headed for October. They've won the American League East. It seemed like from the first pitch of this ball game, this guy was going to get it done. A quality start, who knew? He'd throw a complete game and get the victory. But an excellent job of continuing to just throw what the catcher put down. He navigated through this ball game, a jam here, a jam there. But ultimately, it was an outstanding outing. 6-3, our final score for Chris Singleton and our entire crew here at MLB The Show. Thanks for stopping by. I'm John Chambi. Talk to you soon.